Welcome here to another Titan Garden video on how to lay a garden base. Here we are in this beautiful, neatly kept garden in Guildford in Surrey. It is important to lay a good base. The saying is, build your house on a rock and it will last forever. Sheds and cabins are not cheap, so it's worth the investment and will only add value to your house. This new base is to be laid where this old shed currently stands. This old shed has had its day. The floors are rotten, the roof has collapsed. The owner of the old shed has told us it's been used for decades. Maybe if it had had a concrete base, it would have lasted longer. Burning an old shed on site is the most cost-effective way of disposal. Councils do not clear sheds because it is not classed as household waste. What we suggest is you get a price to clear it from your base worker, ground worker, landscape gardener, gardener, or even get Titan to clear it for a price. So what's next? The ground has to be levels where the base is going to go. The leaves and the roots and the stones all have to be dug out and other unwanted objects need to be cleared. We don't want them in the concrete mix, so it's best to get rid of them. The aim at this stage is to get the formwork level at the four corners. Use timber, two by two pegs and string to measure and mark out the area. This then is the formwork frame for pouring. We're looking now to put in a minimum of four inches of concrete. Any thickness below four inches of concrete will not bind properly. Once the levels are complete, timber boards can be cut to size and nailed into the framework shape. It is important to measure both diagonal lengths to make sure the corners are at right angles. If they're not, adjustments must be made and diagonals remeasured. We're happy with that, so Michael now pins in the frame so that it does not budge when the weight of the cement is poured against it. Just one final check of the levels on each side and across the middle before the concrete gets going. The better the ground preparation, the better the base will last. In this situation, we are viewing the ground that has been compacted over years, so no hardcore is needed. If the groundwork wasn't firm, more soil would be needed to be excavated to make room for a layer of two to three inches of hardcore. Michael uses a four to one mix here, four shovels of ballast to one of cement. You can vary it. The water is then added slowly to the mix until it's a porridge consistency. A cement mix is best for the job and easier. If not, then mix it by hand in a wheelbarrow or on the ground. Concrete is best poured with a wheelbarrow, starting farthest away from the point of the wheelbarrow axis. The poured level should be slightly above that of the slab height to allow for tamping down and spreading. To get rid of air pockets, it's best to prod the soft mix until it's evenly spread. To give a smooth finished surface, use a long piece of 4x2 or 5x2 with a straight edge. Then tamp and vibrate the timber board so that it settles the mix. Do this with a forward and back motion resting on top of the timber formwork until the cement has a clean finish. The hardening will take 2-3 to three hours on a dry day, 4 hours in winter, then 24 hours to harden overnight accepting dry weather conditions. Now laying in temperatures below freezing and in the rain is not advisable. For big buildings, it's best to leave the concrete to go off in five to seven days. Once the base has gone off or is fully cured or dried out, then take the timber framework out, smooth the edges and then clean the site and leave it tidy. If you have any more questions, then please phone the office. Thank you for viewing another Titan video.